My name is Jay Dixit. I'm a psychology writer. Here's a question for you. How would you react if the unthinkable happened to you? There's a car accident and you find out your parents have been killed. Your girlfriend or your boyfriend breaks up with you, leaves you for someone else. You get fired. You get cancer. Psychologists have a word for these kinds of experiences, trauma. And as we all know, when you go through trauma, you're traumatized. You get post-traumatic stress. You feel sad, depressed, anxious. You feel helpless. You feel hopeless about the future. The negative event plunges you into a downward spiral of depression and hopelessness and anxiety that you never fully recover from. And, uh, <clears throat> waiting for the next slide. But the thing is, that when you, um, not everyone who goes through a traumatic experience remains open wounded. Most combat veterans don't get post-traumatic stress. 50% of sexually abused children don't develop psychological problems later on in life. They bounce back, they heal, they get over it. It's called resilience when you bounce back to the level that you were at before. And some people, some people come back stronger. Imagine a ball that when you bounce it, bounces back higher. Imagine a boxer who every time he takes a punch gets stronger. A year after the event, these people were braver, more persistent, more curious, more creative. They had better relationships. <laughs> they had better relationships. They were more open to new possibilities. So psychologists study these people to try to find out what their secret is. It turns out that there's only one difference between people who bounce back and people who don't. It's the way you think about your life. The good news is anybody can learn to think this way. Let's say you get fired. How are you going to feel? Depressed. But negative feelings are not caused by negative events. They're caused by your thoughts about those events. Getting fired doesn't make you depressed. It's your thoughts about getting fired, like I'm a failure, that make you depressed. It's the story you tell yourself. And if the story you tell yourself is a story about damage and trauma, then that's what's going to happen in your life. So, try a different story. Think of the formula for a Hollywood movie. Just before the climax, just before the climax, everything goes wrong. The hero loses the girl. The guy messes up. The, uh, the plan to save the world doesn't work. Screen artists call this the black moment or the all is lost moment. Joseph Campbell calls it the, uh, calls it the, visit to death. Aristotle calls it the dark night of the soul. Everything seems hopeless. All seems lost. Defeat is imminent. But then what happens? The hero has an epiphany, grows into something more than what they were before, and goes on to win the final confrontation. <laughs> so instead of thinking of failure as something that's personal and part of you and permanent, think of yourself as the hero just before the big comeback. It may or may not be true that everything in life happens for a reason. It doesn't matter. Look for the reason anyway. Ask yourself, how is this seemingly horrible, awful situation actually here to serve me? There's something called explanatory style. If you get fired, what story do you tell yourself? Do you say, look, the reality is star performers don't get fired. They just don't. And there's no way I'm going to find another job in this economy. You don't have to react that way. You could say, you know what, this is an amazing opportunity, and I know that I was meant for something bigger and greater. Which one is true? Who cares? But the one you choose to believe? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, but the one you choose to believe is going to set the course of your life. It may sound like new agey, self-helpy mumbo jumbo, but these techniques are actually being taught to US Army soldiers because they actually help prevent post-traumatic stress. It's not magic, it's science. If you expect to fail, it puts you in a state of anxiety, which impairs your performance. If you feel like everything is hopeless and out of your control, you stop trying, you miss opportunities. It's easy to think this way. In the dead of winter, sometimes it's hard to see that spring is coming. But winter doesn't last forever. And if you think like an optimist, focus on what you can control and look for meaning, you can come back stronger than you were before. Thank you.